I haven't reviewed One Piece for a good while now. However, I can have been um, uh, recently reading the chapters on it, and as the last chapter kind of went awry, I mean, I mean, what's kind of going on with the cliffhanger? I mean, with them mostly talking about what 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 happened with Robin and what and what happened with the, with the Green Bit Army, and Usopp pretty much kind of uh, admitting that uh, he was a liar and that he was a pirate and all that. And him going up against Sugar for pretty much the the uh, for uh, the little Green Bear Army's behalf, and you know going into Soldier's flashback and actually kind of learning his uh, his real name and everything. This episode we kind of continue his flashback, going going after his story with with what had happened once he got out of the Coliseum and he had become a member of. And he had become a, become a member of the Royal Guard. And also, this is this is the episode which does... I mean, this is the chapter which does kind of um, give you some information about how he lost his leg. And because he cut it off because they tried to stop him with some sea stone. And he told them that uh, he didn't have a devil fruit ability. So, yeah, that, so yeah, that was pretty... Kind of, so yeah, that was pretty point pointless. However, at the same time, he still didn't necessarily win, and this really does kind of replay the entire part with the Rebecca part. However, it does kind of have a bit more. It does give us a bit more into what actually happened in the castle right after, right right after Doflamingo had pretty much made King Riku. Um, attack his soldiers and burn down his own castle. So there is that. Going into this though, this um uh, the the flashback for soldier and his past, I can't pronounce his actual name. His actual um um it did honestly kind of go into the thing of his last moments with um with um his wife and everything and who uh and pretty much who had uh, who had killed her and then then they do kind of splice in a little bit of some some um and then then like once the flashback is over we go into uh back uh to uh, the Coliseum with um <laughs> with um Sabo dressed up as Luffy pretty much fighting off um um uh, Jesus or Jesus whatever I can't really pronounce I think 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 they pronounce it as Jesus and from that we see uh Bartholomew protecting Rebecca against I forget the big dude with the slashes on his face but apparently he was the man who killed Rebecca's mother and that is what actually made her break down in the Coliseum and possibly in the next chapter she probably might have to fight him off so there is that um on Usopp's half though he did necessarily lose his battle with uh Sugar we don't necessarily see it however when we do see it he is Covered up in sugar and sugar and everything, and he is beat down. The same as Frankie, who actually was kind of telling um um uh, wish that everybody was kind of giving Usopp all of this um uh, all of this positive feedback, saying like you man um I'm gonna say like we all um uh, believe in you, even 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 the toys of the pirates and all of the other people who were actually in the tournament are actually kind of saying like, yeah, man, if you can take out Sugar, we pretty much will look at the Straw Hats as allies. And as Usopp's there, you know, Sugar still honestly thinking that the other grape is poison. She gives it to Usopp, even though it's super Tabasco and it's just super hot, you know, it's to, it was meant to knock her out. As soon as she gives it to Usopp and he eats it, he makes a super silly face which scares the crap out of her and then just makes her pass out. Seriously, I found that actually pretty funny. Funny because, because you know, she's super sensitive to uh, um, um, to um, uh, the point in which that she can't eat. Uh, in which that, like, she can't handle super hot foods and scary faces just knocks her out. Now, honestly, I do believe that in the next chapter, we will actually see every toy go go back to how they used to be, and everybody get uh, get uh, gets their memories back. Which I will be honest, that is honestly something that I am looking forward forward to seeing because, truthfully, 
Um, they have been building this up for a good while now, and even though I did, uh, and even though I haven't ne necessarily reviewed the the last few chapters, I'm I still have been reading them, and they are really kind of, uh, and they do kind of have me on edge. So, pretty much, I kind of haven't really been reviewing all that much, or at least reviewing One Piece all that much, because honestly, I don't really want to um, uh, repeat myself for more for most for most of the chapters, because seriously. For the past few chapters, it's just been action after action after action. It's difficult, it's difficult to kind of keep, um, I'm gonna keep on saying that without repeating myself. So, pretty much, I love this chapter. It was pretty cool. I do kind of like the battle things of kind of, or, or, well, not necessarily the battle, but like I do like the story aspect of them constantly going back to giving us Rebecca's side of it, giving us Soldier's side of it, giving us King, um, um, uh, Riku side of it, Raku, I'm, I think it's Raku. But um, we get like all three of uh, of the sides painting the entire picture for everybody. So honestly, there is that. However, pretty much I got to end this video. And yeah, I thank you guys for watching. And hey, please tell me what do you think of this episode down there in the comment section. Or at least chapter down there in the comment section. I'll see you on the next John Graver show. So please keep watching anime. Keep playing video games. I am out. Hey there, if you like this video, please check out this book right here. It's called Mizuki Dragon Wars. You can find it on Amazon. I'll put a link down there in the comments. I mean, in the um, uh, description. Go ahead and check it out and pick it up for like a few pennies. Go ahead and read it and have a great time. It's a pretty good anime book. And hey, I do recommend it myself since that me and my friend at Deshaun Arshow, we both did write it. So yeah, please check it out. And hey, have a blast. I'm out.